Dr. Seppi, you've done a lot of work with breast cancer and, and other uh, cancers in the human body with thermal imaging. Uh, so can you tell us how, in a basic way, how does thermal imaging identify breast cancer? Let me start with this, that the fact that uh, cancer is always hungry. You cannot satisfy cancer with food. The only food for cancer is glucose. So how should tumor behave to satisfy the, its needs for food? First, it develops additional blood vessels. Every day, every second, every minute, it develops the day, it elaborates substances that help to develop new blood vessels which bring more blood and with blood more sugar to, to the cancer cells. This causes elaboration of additional heat. The thermovisual image follows the changes, anatomical and physiological, especially physiological changes, that happen in affected areas. On thermograms we have the hot spots. When we have the hot spots, of course, it reflects on the entire temperature of affected breast. That's why uh, the general hyperthermia of the breast is higher than uh, on uh, the intact, uh, healthy breast. Dr. Sefer, there was a study in the United States at the University of Wisconsin by Dr. Hobbins um, where they found that tumors were identified eight to ten years uh, before a mammogram on thermal imaging in 70% of the cases. Now I understand that you have a parallel study to this that was done uh, in your country, uh, or in, in the Soviet Union anyway, uh, that you could elaborate and, and give us some information on. Yes, unfortunately I'm not familiar with the Wisconsin study, but uh, in uh, St. Petersburg, uh, at that time Leningrad uh, Center of Oncology, they uh, uh, studied some uh, women with fibrocystic breast disease and some uh, women which didn't uh, show any clinical signs of breast pathology. And they found uh, uh, some thermovisual symptoms characteristic for cancer. The additional methods like mammography, like biopsy, like very, very careful clinical observation didn't reveal any pathology. Eight or ten years after this, uh, these patients developed breast cancer, which was proved morphologically by biopsy and, of course, uh, was shown on mammograms.